Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shinagi, Ayurveda and Medicine Doctor and also Isha Hatha Yoga Teacher. So today in this video, I am going to talk about the benefits of apple cedar vinegar and who should take it and who should avoid it. Also, is it beneficial for all? Everybody should drink apple cedar vinegar, uh, whether it is beneficial for me or not. All these questions comes when we talk about apple cedar vinegar and today's video is going to solve all these questions and benefits so that you can easily choose whether apple cedar vinegar is good for you or not. Let's see what Ayurveda has to say about it. There are so many myths that are associated with apple cedar vinegar. Many people say it's a very good tonic. But actual truth is apple cedar vinegar is not a tonic. It doesn't contain minerals. It doesn't contain vitamins though it contains acetic acid. So it's a form of acid and it is acidic in nature. It is not alkaline in nature. In Ayurveda, apple cedar vinegar is known as shuk and it's very commonly known in India is the, with the name sirka. So this apple cedar vinegar, it is hot in potency. About all the vinegars, there is very one common thing that is these all are hot in potency. As its pH is near about 2.5, so it becomes very, very acidic in nature. It's, uh, it's as its pH is almost uh, around what pH is present in our stomach. As you know in our stomach various kind of acids are present, we are present which helps to digest our food which break, down, which break down our food into small particles so that our body can absorb it. So same kind of pH this apple cedar vinegar. So all those people who want to drink apple cedar vinegar just as a tonic just to gain vitamins, minerals, strength, immunity. So this is not for that. Apple cedar vinegar is not for this purpose. Apple cedar vinegar is also useful but it has different role to play in our body. So as I mentioned apple cedar vinegar is hot in potency because it is hot in potency so it is not advisable to all those people who have excessive heat in the system or excessive pitta dosh. So all those people who have pitta body type like whose uh, body constitution is more on the pitta side and they feel a lot of hot flushes in the body. They feel a lot of burning sensation in the body or if they have problem of acidity or ulcers, they should never ever take apple cedar vinegar because many times this happen like uh, you have acidity, okay take apple cedar vinegar. Uh, I have heard it is very beneficial uh, in for journal health. This is myth, this is very wrong way of saying or telling someone like if somebody has acidity and you can take apple cedar vinegar. Acidity as I mentioned, acidity means already you have high pitta in your body and you are you have started taking apple cedar vinegar. That means you are enhancing that pitta dosha and that's too apple cedar vinegar is very hot in potency. So it will exaggerate it, it will exaggerate acidity, it will not help it to bring it into balance. So if you have ulcer problems, if you have acidity problems, never ever take apple cedar vinegar. It will, can, it can cause shooting pain in your stomach. Even for uh, acidity patients, we also recommend not to take tea. And we also say like even citrus fruits, just take with caution. So apple cedar vinegar is out of question for all these people. But other than this, other people who have a very slow metabolism like whatever they eat they are not able to digest it properly their acidity they don't have acidity but they have indigestion they have excess they have very slow metabolism how we recognize it like very uh, much central obesity they have sometimes thyroid disturbances they have like hypothyroidism in the, in which you gain weight Sometimes even if you are eating very healthy but you are not able to digest it, that means digestive fire is very low. So in all these cases, apple cedar vinegar 
may be beneficial, but still before taking it, you should take proper Ayurveda consultation because as I mentioned in Ayurveda, every uh, every individual is different, every person is different, every person's constitution is different. Um, in my videos, I tell what are the generalized things which everybody can use, but specifically uh, if you want to use that and you are not sure when it comes to the specific patient and when you are not so sure about you or I always recommend please go for Ayurveda consultation either with me or with any Ayur other Ayurveda doctor who have proper knowledge then only the medicine will work in a proper way otherwise randomly if we are to keep trying try this try that try this it will not work better is you please go for proper diagnosis of the disease then only Ayurveda things works it is not like diagnosis is only in allopathy diagnosis is diagnosis is needed in all pathies whether it is Ayurveda homeopathy uh, allopathy Chinese medicine, Tiptin medicine, wherever diagnosis is must because without diagnosis you can't treat a disease. Yes, but it is true like various pathies have different way of diagnosing things and accordingly they prescribe their medicines. That is another issue. So like I mentioned those people who have low metabolism, they can take apple cider vinegar, take half cup of water and in that you can add one uh, teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and this way you can consume it by mixing it very well. It just, it will, it will just become like a lemon juice. You can have it if you have low metabolism like uh, if your digestion is not proper but but you should not have acidity issue and you should not have high pitta symptoms uh, these you need to pay attention little bit what are high pitta symptoms either you can make use of my videos also in my videos also i have mentioned about what does it mean when pitta is high what kind of symptoms you will feel if you have like these symptoms in which you feel heaviness in your eyes but not burning sensation very laziness, excessive weight uh, and digestion is not proper and weight you are just gaining, gaining, gaining and in all these cases in addition to lifestyle you can have apple cider vinegar. It will help you to make your metabolism better and at the same time it also is very beneficial to uh, to lose weight. In addition to that, uh, all those people who have excessive gas problem but no acidity, just gas, whatever they eat, they feel bloating immediately after food. In all these cases, that means there is vata imbalance and for all vata people, this apple cider vinegar is very beneficial. Uh, but make sure you should not have acidity issues or any kind of high pitta symptoms. Vata people can also take apple cider vinegar if they have because in Vata people it has been seen many times it happens like their uh, lower part of the stomach they always feel bloated for no reasons and their digestion is very improper like sometimes food get digested sometimes food not gets digested. These kind of problems if you are feeling and excessive uh, gas and while passing stool also they feel excessive gas in these cases apple cider vinegar works very well if you have also if you have these burps problem in this problem also apple cider vinegar works very well uh, so i hope you before consuming apple cider vinegar you make sure like you should not have pitta body type you should not have imbalanced pitta in your body and you should not have acidity ulcers and these kind of problems uh, if you have then you should avoid apple cider vinegar other situations that i have mentioned in these cases you can have apple cider vinegar it will help and it's beneficial so that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching and if you're watching me for the first time there is a bell icon there's a subscription button Please click the bell icon, hit the subscription button so that you stay in tune with our upcoming videos. Also, if you would like to support us, there is a join button near subscription button. You can click this join button and you can support us. Also, if you have any questions, please write down your questions in the comment section. I will try to answer questions in the best possible way. Also, those of you who want Ayurveda consultations, please write to me on this given email ID and I will let you know how we can schedule it. So with this note, I would like to say stay healthy, stay blessed, take care, bye.